All right, hello everybody, back here with another video. I just want to go ahead and make a quick video and show you guys a website I found looking through the internet today. Now I've heard about Digital Homicide is back. One of the infamous asset flipping crap, you know, spewing developers on Steam back in like 2016, 2015, I believe. Uh, and I remember playing quite a few of their games on my channel and none of them were any good and Digital Homicide was most famous for suing Jim Sterling uh, a YouTube content creator for basically saying the truth uh, fair use critiques of their games and showcasing what crap their games were uh, Jim Sterling was one of the first big YouTubers to play the slaughtering grounds uh, from Digital Homicide and Digital Homicide threatened lawsuits for oh gosh th two three years before they finally tried to sue Jim Sterling for millions of dollars. Of course, the uh, you know the case was completely laughable. Um, Robert Romin of Digital Homicide took him to court, tried to be his own attorney, and just made a mockery of himself. And of course, a Jim Sterling. Uh, had to pay a lawyer and you know won that court case so digital homicide was also kicked off the steam platform for also threatening to sue i think it was 100 steam users for writing negative reviews of their games and once that got out and steam heard about the fact that they were threatening a lawsuit against 100 steam users for simply you know negatively reviewing their crap games uh, steam kicked them off the platform so now we haven't heard a whole lot from Digital Homicide, but evidently they're back now. They're putting up their old games they used to have on Steam on their own website. And I believe they've also got some, yeah, some uh, mobile games as well. So this is a couple of brothers. I believe they're from down in Arizona. And this website we see here, this uh, uh, page was put up not that long ago, so February 2nd, it's still February 2nd here. The Super Bowl just ended not very long ago. And so this is maybe a 10 hour old website uh, page here, 10 or 12 hours maybe. And um, Digital Homicide is a developer and famous for its poor relationship with the community and pursuing a critic. That would be Jim Sterling, as I already mentioned. Uh, they've been inactive since 2018, but made a comeback this past January. Uh, their games are now available for free and they're all terrible. That's for damn sure. Um, do you remember the gaming company that was kicked off Steam uh, and for suing users? How about the one that sued YouTuber Jim Sterling? If so, you remember Digital Homicide and its infamous founders, James and Robert Romine. And it won't please you to know that they're back, or at least half of them are back. Robert Romine appears to be uh, creating content under the future Digital Homicide brand name. Over the company's website, you can read his thoughts on the gaming industry and download the digital uh, homicide games. They're free for now, at least when I wrote this, and they're just as terrible as ever. So this website here, which I'll have linked below, guys, you guys can read it if you want. But this is what I find hilarious, guys, and this is why I had to make a video tonight. Because it's still January 2nd, right down here, as you can see, 11 p.m. my time. And if we go to the company's website, where this uh, writer has said that all their games are free... Uh, if we click on the company's website right here, and we come in here, this is the Digital Homicide Uncensored, almost everyone will enjoy. Um, six years in experience in the industry, I share my knowledge and creations with the world. And if we go to PC Games here, guys, remember how the uh, webpage said they were all free? The slaughtering grounds on this website, $5. This is a game that used to be bundled with like four other games for 99 cents. Back in like, I think 2015, November of 2015, I bought the Slaughtering Grounds and four other games for 99 cents on Steam. Yeah, they had a five game bundle for 99 cents. And it was a rip off at that. So now Mr. Robert Romine, I guess, is putting up this website himself and putting up these abominations of games on his website and I guess, you know, he doesn't have to refund people here. Yeah, everybody, almost anybody that bought his games back in, you know, when they were on Steam probably refunded the games. Arnold, I think that was actually before the refund policy was in place on Steam. 
Anyway, the games are all absolutely crap. I'll have a couple of, like, I'll have my original uh, review of the Slaughtering Grounds linked down below. Uh, just so you guys can take a look at that one. That's probably the most infamous game. And it's why, uh, you know, it's why he's trying to get five bucks for it here. But all their games are utter crap. The funny thing is, though, guys, is like I said, I just find it hilarious that when this web page was made that we just looked at, uh, they're all free for now. And just a few hours later, we come there and we see that all the games are, uh, you know, one to five dollars. So just absolutely crazy. But there is one thing I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys as well. This is something, you know, when Robert Romine was having all these attacks and, you know, losing his freaking mind on the forums, defending his all his games and banning people left and right who even criticized his games and you know, trying to remove videos and uh, doing uh, strikes, copyright strikes and stuff like that against anybody who would make a video against their game. Uh, the guy was definitely a temper tantrum thrower. It's, the irony is there as well that they created a game called Temper Tantrum because Robert Romine was, you know, infamous as well for throwing temper tantrums at anybody that dared say his games weren't great. And they were all just asset flip messes of games where he would rip apart assets and throw a bunch of assets together into a big incohesive mess and uh, like I said go watch this, my review of the slaughtering grounds about a year after it launched on Steam and you'll see how bad that game was when I reviewed it uh, and you, again these links will be down below but guys there is some content that I made about digital homicide and I want to share that with you right here it's something I've never before shared on my YouTube channel. So if I get rid of that guys, we see a folder here in my old documents folder and we see a whole bunch of like just videos and these are some of my old sprites for my rock and roll game and you know different videos and sound effects and all my old you know dead by daylight thumbnails that I made all this kind of stuff. But guys right where is it? Oh right here. See how this asset? This is a video that I just kind of played around with. I was just kind of you know, dinking around, and I made this video. If I click on it, you'll see that it was uh, made or last modified back in June, June fifteenth of twenty sixteen. So three and a half years ago, more than three and a half years ago, I made this six minute video about digital homicide, and I want to go ahead and share this with you guys right now. And uh, you know, I'm doing it because hey, let's party! Digital homicide is back, right? Here you guys go. Enjoy. Thank you. 